Hello, everyone. Here on Stocks to Watch, we bring you insights and conversations with leaders who are shaping the future of their industries. I'm Ashley Berry, and we're thrilled to have a very special guest with us today, John Anderson, Interim CEO, Chairman of the Board, and Director of Triumph Gold Corp., a dynamic growth-oriented exploration and development company based in Canada. They stand out in the mining world with an extensive land package in the mining-friendly Yukon. Their flagship project, the Free Gold Mountain Project spans an impressive 200 square kilometers and is home to three significant mineral deposits and strategically located in an area renowned for its epithermal gold, silver, and gold-rich porphyry copper. They're trading on the TSXV as TIG, the OTC markets in the United States as TIGCF, and on the Frankfurt Exchange as 8N61. It is great to have you with us, John. Welcome to the show. Great. Thanks, Ashley. I really appreciate you having me. So as I mentioned, your Free Gold Mountain project is located in Yukon's prolific Dawson Range Copper Gold Belt. Perhaps you can elaborate on this belt and why it's an excellent area right now for exploration. Well, the Dawson Range Belt is, uh, is part of a bigger, larger system called the Datina Gold Belt, which hosts numerous uh, multi-million ounce gold deposits. Similarly, uh, you could compare us to some of the 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 kind of world-class deposits that have been uh, well developed and actually in production, but also ones that are in that growth stage right now. And so uh, the Tatina Belt is really a, a host to uh, a number of large potential opportunities that will be mines and world-class large-scale mines. And, and that that's where we are. We're right in the center of it and we've got incredible infrastructure. Yeah, location, 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 it sounds like. Uh, the Free Gold Mountain Project, very promising, three significant mineral deposits. Can you tell us more about these deposits and the potential they hold? Yeah, sure. Uh, the property was actually put together by a prospector years ago, uh, and he was able to see that you had these different properties that were worked on, but no one ever really communicated together. Uh, and and the prospector Bill Harris was you know fortuitous to put this together, and when you get all this information from eighty years of technical work that's been done on the on on the project, including active placer mines, uh, well, the new company Triumph Gold has been able to do is figure out how they're all related. So we've got a number of different deposits. Uh, we've got porphyry deposits, which are very large copper gold deposits. And that's where you can build ounces really, really big. That's what the big majors want. And then we've got these other type of epithermal vein systems that are high grade, that you could put into production really quickly. And we've also got the uh, tinta deposit, which is a polymetallic deposit, which hosts numerous different types of metals. So we've got a good range of, of three different type of deposits that can uh, maneuver for whatever the market conditions are. Yeah, it sounds like a tremendous amount of potential. I think this is really fascinating. You've conducted geophysical, geochemical surveys on the project, implemented comprehensive 3D modeling, incorporated AI technologies from Minerva Intelligence to provide unbiased mineralization vectors. This is fascinating to me. So what do these surveys indicate? How do they work? And you know, talk a little bit about the project so far. Well, uh, we've done over 150,000 meters of drilling to come up with the, the, the 2 million ounces gold equivalent off of, off of these three deposits. And what the maneuver and Minerva was able to do, it's a true artificial intelligence uh, machine. And it confirmed a lot of what we thought, but it also proved that there's so much upside to our deposits. So Minerva takes a number of, you know, it's like... It, it, uh, AI in general, the bigger the database you have, the more information you're going to get, the more composites you're going to get. And with the hundreds of thousands of soil samples, the 150,000 meters of drilling and, and numerous uh, data points that we have, we're able to compare this to other deposits, not just in the Dawson Range, Dentina Belt, where we're located, but globally. And it's quite compelling what, uh, what we're excited about now. And I, I think it's terrific that the AI confirmed what you were thinking. Does it never cease to amaze you how how AI works and just how it's ever evolving and, and to be able to help you in, in what you're doing and to be successful? It's uh, it's very cost efficient, that's for sure. Uh, you know, but the, the truth serum is the drill hole. And we've got uh, some drilling. We're going to go back uh, and confirm we've got this 
low grade open pick gold, uh, gold deposit. If you compare it, there's a company called Banyan that trades around $80 million. It's got a very similar uh, geological setting, same type of grades. Uh, and they've got 7 million ounces and they've done an amazing job. So we compare to that. And then the big thing is the revenue and that's the big mm. porphyry system. We drilled down over 800 meters and, and the Minerva intelligence confirmed that those grades that we had, which were over one and a half percent copper equivalent top to bottom or uh, really gold bias that we're on a major, major system. And so we're excited to go back to that as well. It certainly sounds like it. And, and you know, you mentioned the drilling, given the polymetallic nature of the project, are there specific minerals that you're prioritizing right now? Or are you just going to try to extract all the resources available? In a perfect world, we would go after everything. But, uh, you know, our <laughs> property is, as you said, 200 square kilometers. That's five times the size of Manhattan. Put that in perspective. So uh, if if you've got something of that magnitude, you do have to focus in on. And gold is definitely the one we're looking at. And, and the revenue deposit, which is a gold copper system, and that's where you can come up with ounces pretty quickly, is really, I think, the most compelling uh, project we have. It sits within a giant soil anomaly that's six square kilometers. This soil anomaly is the largest multi-element soil anomaly in North America, and we've only scratched the surface of it. So we're excited about going back before we we do some more drilling, just confirm with Minerva and, and some other sources how we're going to really exploit that and make that that deposit a lot larger. And it is a deposit. It's not an arm waving geological target. So uh, we're excited about that. And then, of course, we've got the revenue pure gold uh, deposit. We want to prove it as a as an oxide deposit. We think we'll be able to uh, come up with a few million ounces there. A few million ounces, that doesn't sound too bad. Um, when you're talking oh, about God. the targets and the zones, which ones mm. would you say you're prioritizing for the next exploration steps on the property? Well, it's uh, we're going to prioritize uh, revenue for sure. Uh, but given the the rising gold price where, you know, last year we were trading 1,800, now we're over 2,300, I think you're going to get a... Uh, a lot of leverage in the gold only. And again, I mentioned Banyan, which has been a huge success in the marketplace. Uh, we've got something we think can compare it with that. So, and that's also a lot more cost effective as far as doing exploration. So we can drill shallow holes and literally plop them along and, and come up with, a, with a, an increased resource. We're confident of that. There's also new zones outside of there that uh, we're pretty excited about called the girlfriend zone. And if we can tie all of that in together, you're you're looking at one of the more significant oxide gold deposits in North America. The girlfriend zone that made me smile. Can you explain that a little bit? Is that just like the one right next to the the, the male zone or or the other zone? <laughs> no, no, it's funny. Marty Henning, our geologist, put all this together, and and again, we've got over 100 years of data, and you go through all those old file these files, and all these little prospects are named after women and they're usually the oh. geologists at the time their girlfriend or their wives or or, or whatever <laughs> and and we're most excited about one we've never drilled called melissa so um all these areas are, are within the girlfriend zone that uh, that marty's coined i hope we do more interviews maybe there could be an ashley zone wouldn't that be cool <laughs> <laughs> well, speak to Marty. He's our geologist. If you find something, maybe he'll call it Ashley. <laughs> yeah, we look forward to speaking with Marty again sometime in the future. Um, yeah. So aside from everything that you mentioned, what really makes Triumph Gold a compelling investment right now for our viewers and listeners? A number of reasons. Uh, the real reason you buy into a gold stock and a gold exploration stock isn't really as much location, location. It's more timing. And for the last two years, we did very little on the project. Uh, we didn't want to dilute our shareholders. We've got uh, incredible share structure. We've got 41 million shares out. I personally own 10% that I bought in the market and in private placements. And we've got some institutional investors. And, and they agreed with the philosophy where there's no sense of wasting shareholders' money and drilling to live a dream. 
you want to do it when you're going to get rewarded for it in the market. And and with gold going from 1800 to 23 and I think it's going to go a lot higher and copper going from $3 to $5 where our last resource was silver was $18 now it's over 30. Uh timing is right and I think the equity markets are going to start coming into the you know, the equity investors are just start coming into the gold market because it's just so compelling. If you want more of a reason geographically uh, one of the few things that that we have that a lot of people don't have in that Datina belt uh, that goes all the way from British Columbia up to the Yukon and Alaska is we've got infrastructure. Mm. We've got a road that goes right to our property and through our property. And, and that is such a benefit for not just infrastructure when you build a mine, but when you're drilling and doing exploration, you can spend, save days just driving somewhere. Mm. Your cost of drilling is a third to... Uh, even uh, less than that for a lot of our competitors that have to be helicopter assisted. So it's really the perfect geographical, geological, and I think now timing is why you would be be looking at Triumph Gold. Yeah, it sounds like some amazing synergies. Synergies, you're talking about not only location, timing, as you mentioned, and also infrastructure, uncovering really what it takes to lead in the competitive world of mineral exploration and development, it sounds like, John. John Anderson, Interim CEO, Chairman of the Board, and Director of Triumph Gold Corp. Thank you so much for joining us here on Stocks to Watch. We look forward to having you and Marty on again soon. Absolutely. Thanks again, Ashley.